suppose that uh, during the intake, oh, the intake valve open, but for some reason the exhaust valve open a little more, a little. The exhaust valve during the intake should be completely closed. What happens if during the intake the exhaust valve open a little? This is good? No, it's not good. It's not good. Especially in marine engines, it's not good. What is the problem? The water entering in the combustion chamber and, and you, you know what happens when salt water enters in the combustion chamber? Yeah, the expansion, the thermal expansion of the aluminum is twice than the thermal expansion of the iron. The piston expands and blocks the engine immediately. This is catastrophic. In this picture, we have uh, the valve, uh, we have the rocker arm, this is the rocker arm, and uh, this is the gap. This is the gap that we are going to calibrate with the filler gauge. The calibration that you have in this moment on the screen, we are going to do this calibration right now. Okay, right now it's clear for you that uh, the valves should be properly calibrated. The most important uh, part when you try to do valve last calibrations is bring the cylinder number one to top the center. Let me let me I tell to you something. We are going to study in the next chapter the procedure to put the engine on time. The, post, the procedure to calibrate the timing of the engine. What is the meaning of that? You, you remember I explained to you that uh, in the, the injector should be open just a little before the piston reach the top the center. In that moment the injector open, spray the fuel liquid in the combustion chamber and the explosion is produced and the, and the piston goes down immediately. What is the procedure? I introduce the filler gauge. In this moment I see that uh, the filler gauge has too much play. Ah, in that case, I need to adjust the other end of the rocker arm. In this moment, Professor Rodriguez adjusts, adjusts with the screwdriver, with a flat screwdriver, uh, that gap. And with the nut, with the nut, if, if the filler gauge is moving a little tight, not completely tight, a little tight, in that moment, you can tie the nut and this is exactly, exactly the calibration of this rocker arm. Oh, Mr. Lopez, in my boat, the, the diesel engines are big, big, big diesel engines and uh, it's, uh, it's impossible uh, with your hand try to move the harmonic balancer in front of the engine in order to, cali to, to rotate the engine because it's a big, big engine. Okay, uh, you can disconnect, you can disconnect the computer the harness on the computer, on the ECM, on the ECU. Remove the push button in order to crank the engine slowly, crank, 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 and rotate the engine, and rotate the engine slowly in order to select exactly the position top the center with both valves closed. If you have the stethoscope, with the stethoscope, you, you can identify if the sound is on the valves or if the sound is on the bearings. The, tick, 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 the knock probably is in the is in the block or the knock probably is on the head. Normally when you have a knock, when you have a sound that is different like the regular, normally you have a check engine light. You have a light on the display of the dashboard. Uh, if you check the code for that check engine light, you have the code related with knock sensor knocking sensor knock sensor